Embracing innovation, staying ahead here in the home remodeling industry. You may have heard the saying, innovate or die. And in today's world, innovation is super critical to your longevity and really to your ability to be a dominant market player in your local market. And so we're going to dive into this topic a little further today. It is really critical that you you learn how to innovate, and especially as things have rapidly been changing. If you think uh, about our post-COVID world, a lot of things we used to do face-to-face, belly-to-belly, hand-to-hand, uh, are now done over Zoom calls, over telephone calls, um, you know, things that we used to sign in ink, we now docu-sign, and of course, now artificial intelligence has uh, really come to bear, and so that is rapidly changing the way things operate. And so it's critical that you constantly be improving, innovating, and uh, staying up to date with trends in the marketplace. And so a couple of things we want to cover today and some of these innovation areas. Number one, uh, innovation in the areas of efficiency and quality. And so different software solutions like 3D modeling, Uh, Project management tools can transform traditional workflows of your remodeling projects. Uh, For example, using building information modeling software allows for creating digital representations of both physical and functional characteristics of a space. Uh, This can help you detect potential issues early on, help you with your planning logistics, and also help you to communicate clear Uh, insights to your teams and to your customers. Now, of course, you've got automation. Uh, You want to implement those automation solutions in areas like customer relationship management, uh, inventory control. That's just going to free up resources. It's going to reduce human error. It's going to ensure that things are ordered, scheduled, and delivered efficiently, uh, which is going to minimize your downtime and then uh, also uh, help eliminate some of that frustration that could come from your customers. Um, You also want to meet those evolving consumer expectations. And so in today's world, customers expect uh, customization. They want to be able to order things in a way that caters to their specific wants, needs, and desires. And so customizable design interfaces are going to allow your customers to visualize different options, make real-time adjustments, um, and that's going to significantly improve their customer satisfaction. And then, of course, sustainability is another thing that uh, people are really looking for these days. Uh, Those environmentally friendly solutions, environmentally, I can't even speak, environmentally friendly practices. And so this is appealing to a large segment of the population, but uh, also shows that you are a responsible business in your community. And then, of course, a lot of smart home technology, integrating the Internet of Things, smart appliances uh, into your remodeling projects, smart home devices are certainly going to put you ahead of the uh, competition as well. Then, of course, you always want to look at reducing costs, so you can do that through efficient resource management, using things like just-in-time delivery systems uh, so that you're not having to maintain a lot of overhead, Uh, where you have the opportunity to utilize renewable energy sources like solar panels um, or other environmentally friendly options. That's definitely going to set you apart as well. And, of course, you want to be continually learning, be a lifelong learner, continual student, Look for those educational opportunities for continuous training uh, to learn more about new digital platforms, new technologies, new things happening in the search engine world, especially in this AI-driven environment. You definitely want to stay up to date on what's happening with artificial intelligence and how it's going to affect you. Be sure to network with your peers, go to trade shows, go to seminars, workshops, build that into your regular workflow. Uh, At least once or twice a year, make that a priority. Step back from your business so you can work on your business. Think about your business without being involved in the day-to-day 
activities of your business. By doing that a few times a year, you're going to be much more strategic in your thought processes and your implementation. Um, you can always learn from other industries. So, you know, gain insights from cross-industry research. See what other industries are doing that uh, can give you some competitive edge that can help you uh, get ahead of some of the things that are, are happening technology-wise. Um, so, in particular, with artificial intelligence, see what's happening in the manufacturing industry, uh, what's happening in other process-driven industries, medical, educational, you know, a lot of places you could look for some, uh, some key insights. Um, consider using virtual reality um, to help uh, model new spaces for customers as part of your design process. Uh, consider, you know, uh, using that to fine-tune and refine uh, the customer's expectations. And then here's some action steps you can be taking as well. Uh, do regular technology audits at least twice a year. Do a review of your technological tools and systems. Make sure they're still the best fit. Make sure they're the most current, uh, that they're going to accomplish what you need them to accomplish. You may have grown to a place where... The technology you're using simply uh, is not capable of keeping up with your growth, and so you may need to make a technology switch there. Promote a learning-driven environment. Incentivize your employees who pursue further education or certifications in emerging technologies or sustainable practices, things that are going to help your business. And then, of course, experiment and pilot. Uh, you know, test new ideas, new methods, new tools, new technologies. Um, you know, be the guinea pig and see how things work. And if they work well, uh, then, you know, uh, let some of your customers know, hey, we'd like to test some of these ideas on your project. And if they're open to it, use them as a case study. So just a few thoughts for you today. Hope you find that helpful. If we can assist you in, in implementing some of the technologies to grow your brand, to grow your reach, to grow your lead flow, be sure and schedule a strategy session with us. You can do that on our website. Thanks for tuning in.